Yeah, hi year 13s, just wanted to do a quick um, update of the skeletal lesson we did the other day, just looking at the bones of the human body. Just gonna quickly track through these so we all know where we're at. Remember the activity we did where you got someone on the floor, you drew round them with your chalk and then you filled them in on the inside? This is just to kind of refresh your knowledge at that. So let's not waste any time, let's just get straight into this and let's take a look right at the cranium. So the cranium, okay, your skull or cranium, and it's made up of two parts. The second bit here is our jaw or our mandible. This is our mandible, okay? So our cranium and our mandible. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So moving down, let's take a look at the arm. So in the upper arm, this is our clavicle. This is the classic bone that you will break when you uh, do a, a poor tackle in rugby. All right, the clavicle right here. We now have the scapula, which is the triangular kind of shape bone, which is your shoulder blade. And this is the head of the humerus. So this is a ball and socket joint. This is the humerus, your upper arm. Okay, we can just have a little spin round so you can see the scapula on the back humerus to the side and the thin bone is the clavicle moving down the arm let's have a look here we have the elbow now the elbow is a joint and that is made up with the lower part of the humerus we then have the ulna which is your bone underneath okay so the ulna here and the radius on top so these two bones come together with the humerus to actually make your elbow. And the other day when I had to leave school, it was because my little boy, he's fractured his ulna. He also dislocated it, which means it popped out. And then he also fractured his radius here. So yeah, he's got a bit of metal in his arm at the moment, but hey, he's doing fine. Moving down to the hand. In the hand, you can just see the ulna coming in here. You can see the radius head here. Here we have carpals. These are carpals that make up your wrist. We then have metacarpals, and then the end port parts here are the phalanges. So carpals, metacarpals, phalanges making up the hand. Let's spin this little guy around. Let's just take a closer look if we can at the um, vertebral column. So this is your vertebrae. And remember what we said, it isn't just one solid bone. You can quite clearly see these are individual bones or vertebrae as we call them. Down here, we have what's called the sacrum. And the lower bit down here is the coccyx. So your vertebral column made up of individual vertebrae, the sacrum, and then your coccyx at the bottom, okay? Going in, we'll just take a little look at the ribs. Okay, this is your rib cage here. And then the structure on the front is called the sternum. So rib cage and sternum. And you can see the clavicle here coming in. The clavicle comes in to meet the sternum on top of the rib cage. You can see those lovely humerus bones that we've just been talking about. And then down into the ulna radius carpals and metacarpals down below. Let's take a look at the pelvis. You get a good view there. This is the pelvis here. Remember what we said, Elvis the pelvis, your hips. You can see the sacrum, how it's fused into the pelvis, make out the bottom of the coccyx. And what we've got here, this is the head of the femur. So this is your upper leg here. This is your femur, the longest bone in the body. So your femur comes in Another ball and socket joint here in the hip. We'll just give that a bit of a spin round so you can see that and quite clearly see now the sacrum on the back here, the coccyx on the side here, and the vertebral column coming down here. And then you'll see the femoral head that we were talking about, the femur, coming up into the pelvis there. So that's our pelvis. What we now need to do is go and take a look at the upper leg so we can see quite nicely now how the femur comes into the hip. There's your long femur, and this little puppy here is your patella or your kneecap. 
Okay, so that is your upper leg, and you've got a hinge joint here at the knee. Okay, see how that spins around, but a really long bone. Let's take a closer look if we can. Well, look at that, that's the end of your femur. But let's go and take a look at the actual knee itself. So here we are. That is looking down at your tibia and fibula on the back. Okay, so here we have the patella. This is your femur. This is your shin or your tibia. And this is your fibula on the back. But we'll spin this knee round. So patella or your kneecap. This is your femur, your tibia, which is your shin, and your fibula, which is at the back of the lower leg. So we're actually looking at this structure here, okay? The lower leg. So in sport, if you play hockey or soccer and you have to wear your shin pads, it's this bone here, okay, that you're protecting your tibia and your fibula at the back here. Moving down to the feet, similar to the hands in the fact that we now have, to stop you there, tarsals, metatarsals and phalanges. Tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges. And that's pretty much the bones of the body that you need to know. So if you can just remember those, okay, remember 206 bones in the body, but we only need to remember those ones. Hope this has been useful, and don't forget to refer back to it for revision if you need to. Take care. Bye-bye.